Hi guys, it's Caitlin. I'm making another video today. This is a video that I've been wanting to make for a while now. I just haven't gotten around to it, but I'm finally doing it and I'm so excited to share this story with everyone. What this story is about is meeting some of the cast from Bates Motel, the TV show. If you don't know what Bates Motel is, it's a really good horror drama craziness. I don't really know how to explain it. The main character, Norman, has a mental disability. Nobody really knows what it is. But the whole TV show is just based on Norman and the Bates family and their experiences surrounding Norman. And it's a really crazy, awesome TV show. I recommend it 20 out of 10. Go watch it on Netflix if you binge watch TV shows like There's No Tomorrow, then this show is perfect for you. Although the first season is not on Netflix, you'd have to go find it somewhere else online or pay for it. Okay, I went on vacation to San Diego. We stayed at the hotel we stay at every single time we go to San Diego, the Lowe's Coronado Bay Resort on Coronado Island, which is an island right off San Diego. I didn't even know that Comic Con was going on in San Diego while we were vacationing there until I stepped out of the plane. I kind of noticed there was a lot of stuff going on. There was people in costumes on the way to our hotel. Like the convention center was packed. Of course, this made me curious, like who was? at Comic Con. I saw all the TV shows I liked like Teen Wolf and Vampire Diaries and a lot of superhero people and all that exciting cool stuff going on and I was like oh my gosh there's so many celebrities here that's so cool. I admire a lot of celebrities so I always think it's really cool to meet them or you know see them do whatever they do live. I'm really into all that. I wanted to go to Comic Con but of course it was sold out. The craziness of my experience all started when my mom had to get some stuff done in the lobby and I was at the pool with my dad relaxing. It was our first day there we just arrived and my mom sends me a text message and it's a picture picture of Vera Farmiga who plays Norma Bates on Bates Motel. I initially knew Vera as Lorraine from The Conjuring because I'm a big horror movie fanatic so I freaked out and of course I ran into the lobby gonna try and catch her and ask nicely for a picture. She'd left already and I was not gonna track her down or anything creepy like that. Basically that was it. I started to put two and two together and realize well maybe there's more people staying here that I just haven't seen yet. Honestly, <laughs> I did not know Bates Motel existed until I realized Bates Motel was at Comic Con and that that's why Vera was there. And I looked it up, I saw that it was a really well-known TV show. It was on Netflix and I honestly started watching it after I saw Vera. I feel like I was cheating because if I was a big Bates Motel fan and saw the other people who didn't even watch the show met everyone, um, I'd be pretty pissed, so, but I'm not gonna lie, like, I didn't watch Bates and I didn't really know anything of it. I start watching it a little bit so that if I see anyone I'll recognize the characters. Before I even met any Bates Motel people, I met the YouTuber who does parodies, he has 8 million subscribers, Bart Baker, so that was pretty cool. I met his girlfriend as well, Shira Lazar, something like that. She's pretty cool too. She had somebody fanning her though, so that was um, strange. So my mom sends me that picture and I don't end up seeing her in the lobby, but I'm kind of like gonna keep my eyes open because I'm a really big fan of her work, not only in Bates, but in the Conjuring movies. She was in some other TV shows that I'd seen before as well. The first people that I met from the cast were Nestor Carbonell and Max Theriot, who I both recognized instantly from other movies and films as well. I was sitting in the lobby waiting, waiting for something. I don't remember what I was waiting for. I see two girls who I didn't think were famous or anything like that, talking to two guys, like, talking, like, you can kind of tell when you look at people if they're talking to them like they know them, or talking to them like they just met them, and it really looked like they all just met. They were asking questions, and, and they were really smiling and giddy, and I was like, okay, they look like young girls, like, these guys, like, look really familiar. I used my phone and Googled who I thought they were, and their pictures came up, and I ended up putting more two and twos together that they were also in Bates. I mean, some people are scared to go up to celebrities and I mean, everyone gets nervous. I get nervous, but I kind of 
just do it because usually they're really nice anyway. So I finally got the courage to approach Nestor and Max who play Dylan and Alex in Bates Motel. They started walking outside to their Uber and I almost peed my pants, but I did it. It was very exciting. And I was like, are you Nestor? And he's like, yes, I am. And I said that I had seen him in Batman and Lost. And he's like, oh, that's awesome. And he asked if I was here on vacation. And we took a photo. Of course, I saw Max. And honestly, I didn't recognize Max. He like looked really familiar, but I was like... I'm having trouble. I'm literally a horrible person. I literally am taking photos with these people and I don't even know what they're a part of. I know I suck, but like now I'm so glad I took the photo. I was like, Max, can we also get a photo? He's like, of course. And like they both were like making sure that we were in the right lighting and they were taking my pictures and it was really cute and they were really nice and they told me to have a good night and I said have fun at Comic Con. And basically they were super nice and like even though I didn't know kind of who Max was like now that I've watched all the seasons of Bates Motel I can fully say I love him two pieces it was just really good experience getting to meet them both next to Vera I also had a huge like desire to meet Freddie Highmore who plays Norman in Bates Motel but I just had known him from all of the movies he did as in his childhood, like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and he did August Rush, and a few others, Spiderwick Chronicles. That's pretty cool. These movies I've watched like 10,000 times in my bedroom when I was little. I hadn't seen him around. He kept to himself a lot while he was at the hotel. I didn't see him out very much. Two days after I met Max and Nestor, I was walking to go to our car through the lobby. A&E, the channel, was having a meeting because at Comic Con, Bates Motel had their panel that day, which I didn't even know until I saw everyone. And so the whole cast was upstairs in a meeting room. As we were walking through the lobby, I see Vera talking to the makeup artist from The Conjuring and also Bates Motel. I was like, holy crap, I have to go up to her, I have to say something. I, I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to see her again while we're here because, you know, they're not just going to be like at the pool or anything. I took my little sister and I went up to her and I just kind of was like, excuse me, like, we just went and bought tickets and saw your movie a few weeks ago in the theaters and we're big fans of The Conjuring. We just want to know how your day is going. And she was so nice. She shook our hands, asked what our names were. She made a comment because my sister was so little. She's like, you're not old enough to go see The Conjuring. And we laughed and she asked what we were here for, vacation or for Comic Con. And we said vacation. It was really sweet. She like was just asking us questions and talking to us for like a good five minutes. And she was probably the sweetest like celebrity that I've ever met in my life before and when we asked her pictures she's like yeah I'm so good at the selfie let's take selfies and I was like yes let's do it it was just so cool to meet her and I'm so happy that we approached her she wasn't worried about anybody seeing her noticing her like she was really down to earth At this point I was like maybe it's just like the famous people I meet but these are the nicest famous people I've ever met like the celebrities I usually meet well, maybe it's just because, like, singers are kind of rude, but, like, actors maybe are just a lot nicer because they get recognized a lot less. But I don't know what it is, but these actors and actresses were so damn nice. Fast forward to the next morning. We are getting breakfast. Breakfast place is right next to the lobby. I am eating my bagel in a chair, talking with my siblings. It is the last day of Comic Con. It's Sunday. I'm figuring people are checking out that are staying there for Comic Con. I'm eating my bagel, just kind of minding my own business. Something just like catches my eye, I don't know why, because he looked really normal, but Freddy was at the front desk. I just see someone in like blue jeans and like some like baggy like blue worn out shirt and he had like just regular shoes on and his little suitcase and he was by himself and he was checking out and I'm like is that what I think it is? Like, is this just gonna fall into my lap? Because if it is, well, I am freaking out. This was kind of creepy. I kind of pretended to go in the store across from where you check out. And I was like, yep, that's him, okay. <laughs> he was kind of walking very fast out of the lobby. I very nicely went up to him and was like, hi, excuse me, are you Freddy? And he was like, yes, of course. I can't do an English accent, but it was something like that. His accent is so cute. 
I'm sorry, he was just so, I mean, he, this boy is about to go to the airport, and he's probably rushing, and, you know, he, like, was talking to me, he's, like, shook my hand, he's, like, what's your name, and I was, like, it's Caitlin, and he's, like, oh, it's so nice to meet you, and we were talking about Comic-Con, and I asked if he had a good time, and he said yes, but the trip was too short. Then I was like, can we get a quick picture? And he's like, yes, of course. And we like took a few selfies, and he was just really nice and said it was nice to meet me, and he was really nice, okay? Like, these people freaking have like five-minute conversations with me, and like I'm like, you don't have to do that. We could have just taken a selfie, but like they do it, and it makes me feel so good. Those are the four people that I did meet from Bates. I saw the whole cast. I tried taking like a video clip, but without being like rude but it I just like did for two seconds and stopped because like it was really rude I didn't get pictures with anybody else but they all did walk through the lobby and I was like oh hey like there you are so I did see everyone I also met Darren Chris from Glee while I was there that was pretty cool <laughs> I should make a video just about meeting Darren Chris because the experience was so weird like random and weird I think I'm gonna make a video about it I'll do that. Meeting the Bates Motel cast was incredible. I say whole cast, but like it was like four of them, but like they're four like main characters, so I was just like, wow, I'm so happy. So yes, I was not the biggest Bates Motel fan when I met Max, Nestor, Vera, and Freddy, but now I am. I actually want everyone that watches this to go watch a freaking episode and if you can't watch any more then I'll be very surprised because it is the best TV show I've watched in a very long time. I went to San Diego a few weeks ago, July 20... 21st to 20... I don't remember. July 20s something. I hope I can actually go to Comic Con next year. This made me really like want to go and see what it was all about. That is it. That was my experience meeting four of the main characters from Bates Motel in San Diego on my vacation. So if you have any questions or want to know any more stuff that I probably forgot to put in the video, then you can leave a comment down below and like it if you like it. If you disliked it, then just get out and don't look at my videos anymore. Thank you for watching. I'll see you whenever I make my next video. Bye guys!